Fam review. Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we're going to be going over a specific familiar that I believe is very crucial to the early game. A lot of people have found making this familiar actually makes it easier to progress through certain flags like the Goose and Brimby. If you guess correctly, that fam is going to be hilarious. So let's go ahead and check out the base stats for hilarious. Hilarious comes with 13.5 base deflect chance. Not the greatest, not the worst, still pretty good. They have a high health pool, low speed, and decent damage. So for the build, I honestly highly recommend, if you can, only putting deflect chance on Hilarious. The higher the rarity, the better, the higher the percent, the better, of course. Hilarious has been used in D4s, in current tiers. He's been used in flag progression, in PvP. Hilarious is used everywhere. Are they the greatest familiar to use in all aspects? Of course not. But when they are needed, they do shine, especially for an epic familiar. If I could recommend anything else at all besides Deflect Chance, it would probably only be either Empower Chance or or damage reduction, but even those I don't recommend on Eulerius. Um, Eulerius shines at just deflecting damage and pretty much just helping you get through certain flags by dishing damage back from those hard hitting enemy familiars back at them. So the more deflect chance you have, the better. For the chip, I think anything with damage reduction will be good. I personally like the damage reduction while all teammates are alive on Eulerius. You could put any other one you want, whichever one suits you better is better. If you have a blink on your team, you might want to do when shielded, that would be good as well. But if you don't, this one always works good as well. Now for the brain, I personally think you should have a defensive brain on Eulerius unless you're doing PvP, because Eulerius doesn't really have the best sustain in their kit. And if you don't have a good healer slash DPS with a good heal type brain, then you're going to be getting kind of destroyed fairly quickly. So just depending on your team comp, you might have to run a defensive brain on Eulerius over an offensive. I personally like having a defensive brain on Eulerius all the time. I've never had problems and I think it's fantastic. So for the skeletal lining, I recommend a redirect chance. I don't really think you can put anything else on him. I mean, you could really do anything you want, really, but if you want to take advantage of Hilarious, you would want to do redirect, because most of the time, you're trying to prevent other familiars from targeting specific ones and having them get their damage deflected back towards them, which is why you want redirect chance. So redirect all the way, in my opinion, is the best option. You could always do heals received when a certain percentage is low for your HP as well, but I still believe redirect chance is the way to go. Let's go and go over to the skills. On the skills, they just have three basic attacks. They have deals damage to closest enemy, which is going to be one of your main attacks. They also do deals damage to closest enemy and damage to self, which is pretty much just an amplified attack. As you can see here, it goes all the way up to 56,000 in my case. Um, the first one only goes up to 18,000. So. This one's good for whenever you're trying to deal some damage, but most of the time, I highly recommend just doing attack. Nothing but your zero SP attack, saving your SP, and when you need to heal, use the last option, which is death touch. Drain percentage energy, or drain so-and-so health from closest enemy. Now all of his stuff attacks closest, so either way you're gonna be hitting the front. I recommend just using zero SP, as much as you can stack up all the SP you can unless your heals are low then of course use it and then just of course sustain with death touch unless you really really have to deal damage to kill an enemy fast before they kill you you will not be using crush I believe it's a very strong ability yes but it is a waste if you're trying to play strategically you want to make sure you have every option open to you Try not to waste all your SP as soon as possible because their speed is fairly low compared to all the other familiars on your team. So that's pretty much going to be it for the skills. Let's go ahead and check out the schematic. Now this schematic is amazingly awesome. I believe everyone should make Hilarious because Hilarious is just so easy to craft in my opinion. Does it take time? Of course. But here's the cool thing about it. It only takes five 
epic material each, which isn't really that much if you think about it. Like, obviously, yeah, that's quite a bit, but when you're farming for these familiars, you're gonna be getting your epic material at the same time, so it's not really too crazy. The cool thing is, it takes three rares, and the great thing <laughs> is if you click on any of these guys, you go to the map on the top left, all of them are going to be found at Mogher's Catacomb, including the schematic. I'm going to go ahead and click on all of them just so you can see Mogher's Catacomb. And for the last one, Mogher's Catacomb. Let's go ahead and go to the map so I can show you where that is. If you go to Quest, it's going to be in Morgoroth, which is tier 6. Click on this, Mogher's Catacomb. I'll show you one more time. It's the little ruins on the top right. Click on the chest. You can see here that it is and you can also see that the hilarious schematic is right here as well which is great everything is farmed in one area of course take advantage of that 200% capture rate for heroic and you are going to be needing three of each which does sound like a lot but it really isn't if you're gonna be farming in the same area it's not gonna be a problem you're gonna be getting these guys left and right like crazy so the good thing is it's a very easy craft Three of each for one Eularius. I recommend making at least two plus fives, making seven in total at minimum. You don't need any more than that, but I think having more than one tank is always a great option. And that's going to be it for Eularius. So pretty much, I highly recommend using Eularius wherever you had shrimps. Just replacing shrimps with Eularius, you're going to go ahead and feel an actual spike in your team comp. You're going to feel the difference. You're going to feel the strength added to your team. Eularius is a great addition, and I highly recommend just about every player craft this familiar. Even players that are up to date in the current tier still try to make deflect familiars for specific content, and Eularius is the easiest one to craft and gets the job done. If you guys have any questions on anything, please leave them in the comments. If you guys just want to leave any tips for anyone, leave them down there as well. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one.